best. You know how some people can garden in their best clothes and just not get dirty? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not one of those people. Good morning. I think the plan today, because the sun is out, so it's thawing the ground, is to get the 150 bulbs I have planted in that front strip along the lawn. I've got a whole bunch of daffodils, crocuses, and snowdrops to plant, so that's what we're planning to do today. And now we just have to wait about an hour for the ground to warm up just a little bit more before we plant the daffodils. I have quite a few bulbs to plant this year. It's only 150, which would be not very many for some people, but that's the most bulbs I've ever planted in a year. Um, I've got these from a few different sources. I got the big bags from Home Depot and then the smaller, more interesting varieties from West Coast Seeds. So starting out with this really big bag of uh, 60 daffodils and then also from West Coast Seeds I got these yellow ocean mini daffodils. I'm excited for these mini ones. Also from West Coast Seeds I got snowdrops because they're the first things to pop up and I love snowdrops. I know that there's only 10 and I have a ton of space so 10 was probably underkill but I'm hoping they'll spread a little bit. And then also from Home Depot, I got these 40 assorted crocuses and crocuses from West Coast Seeds. I got three varieties. I have Cream Beauty, Vanguard, and Snowstorm. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually just put all of these bulbs into one container and mix them up and then plant them randomly across the entire meadow strip. to go in there. So what I've done to make it easy for myself is I've just spread the bulbs out in a fairly even layer across the soil in this front meadow strip. And then I'm just going along from left to right and burying each bulb wherever it landed. And hopefully that'll give me a pretty even spread of spring color next year. Sorry about the background noise in all of this. My neighbors are all leaf blowing and mulching and mowing. It's, it's quite a noisy day in the neighborhood. Bulbs like tulips and daffodils and crocuses are pretty easy to plant in theory, but in practice, when the ground you're planting into is overturned sod that's only partially decomposed, it becomes a lot harder. Little bulbs like this crocus are really easy to plant, even in poor soil, because you don't need a very deep hole. Whereas larger bulbs like this daffodil can be pretty tricky to plant if you have hard compacted soil or clay soil or overturned sod like I have here because getting the hole twice as deep as this bulb is quite the feat. Basically as a rule of thumb you just want to dig your hole twice the depth of your bulb. More is good if you have critters that might dig them up but at a minimum get the hole twice as deep as your bulb. And you can basically plant your bulbs in the fall any time before the ground is frozen. So it's pretty flexible. Just make sure your temperatures have cooled off, but the ground isn't frozen yet.
150 bulbs in the ground and it doesn't look like I did anything. Nothing like a project where the before and the after look exactly the same. Well guys, thanks for hanging out with me this week. We got some really big stuff done in the garden this week. We planted 150 bulbs in this meadow. It was a pretty good week overall. All right, until next time, bye.